any incident that you're on, you're always seeing appreciation coming from the local community. Um, but here, it was at a whole different level. Yeah, I've been involved in fire for 30 plus years, and I have never ever seen anything like this. You know, you guys got a, a pretty, pretty blessed community here, really. I've been in firefighting for 20 years now, and I've never seen a community support us the way this community has come out. These three communities seem to, they seem to understand um, the risk that the firefighters have taken out there to save their homes. You know, there was a direct legitimate threat to this community and that's personal. You know, and then they see that these firefighters came in and they stepped up and helped them. And the people lining up on the street the other night, I've never ever seen anything like that before in my life. Like I said, I've been doing this for 31 years and I've never have seen something like that. They don't always get this kind of a reception or this warm of a welcome. A lot of times, you know, people clap, but a lot of times people don't even care. So this is above and beyond uh, anything I've ever seen in the past. We've never seen people line up and cheer our trucks as they come in from, from the no, line. Never have. Never seen that before. Never heard of it before. It's like we won the Super Bowl. I saw the smiles of the firefighters last night and they were just in awe. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's been so much food has come in here uh, through ICP. You know, people making cookies and bread and, you know, we have we have great coffee coming in here in the morning and people are bringing tea and... We have people coming through dropping off cupcakes, cookies, ice cream sodas, pizzas. Pie, uh, massage therapy, haircuts, chiropractic work, uh, teeth cleaning. Shampoo and toothpaste and all that stuff and the firefighters have just loved it. And you can see behind me some of the things that came in, you know, just these, these posters of people sharing stories saying thank you. These two little girls were covered in glitter all the way up their arms, but just the simplicity of it. Thank, thank you for getting us evacuated uh, so we could not die. I mean, that's what, that's what it is, you know? And then here's where she had her money and it says, sorry, it is only a little, it is the only money I have. How can you take that from, yeah, we gave it back to her. Last night we had a band set up out here right, for three hours while we were having dinner shift. Never seen that the whole time I've been doing this. That's part of the beauty of living in a, a small mountain community like this is that everybody comes together in times of need and it doesn't matter what you're wearing, what you're doing, you're all one big family and, and everybody's supporting one another and that's it's the, good, the good part about living in a, a town like this. We'd just like to thank everybody in all the communities around here that have done everything that they have for us to support us and again we thank you for your support. Yes, that's what I want to say is I want to thank this community for all the gratefulness, the uh, cards, letters, everything of appreciation, the donations. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. <laughs>